It's for those people that inspect uh, trucks and truck drivers. Um, so when I say you're NAS level one certified, that's uh, through the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. They have all the rules and regulations, and then it's an inspection program that helps us follow uh, through an inspection, a 37 step inspection, um, so that we make sure we in inspect everything. So if they're certified through that uh, or with that, then they can come here. So it's for like Nebraska, for instance, it's the, uh, the Nebraska State Patrol. We do all the inspections on trucks. It's usually the last yes, week Jane. of September, it tends Where's to be a little drier, it? except for this year, unfortunately. Um, a little dry, uh, which which makes it a lot easier uh, for these guys out here inspecting. But uh, unfortunately, this year we're going to have to do it, uh, do a little bit of it in the rain. I think so we give them a certificate, simply stating that they've passed the course. Um, it's just literally this is the only course in the nation right now that deals with inspecting trucks that have been involved in a crash. There used to be one in Minnesota and one in Florida. Uh, wow. Those have gone by the wayside Messaging. through the years and the nation was left without any type of class to train officers and how what to look for on trucks that have crashed. In other words, what we're looking for is if a, if a truck has crashed, we're looking for um, possible contributing factors that may have been in place prior to the crash that caused the crash, um, such as brakes uh, not adjusted properly or something like along those lines. So we're, we're, we're going to find a lot of things that happened because of the crash. We have to teach these guys to determine were those things there prior to the crash or did they come as a result of the crash and then if they were there prior to the crash then we need to document them uh, accordingly so that uh, if the prosecutor wants to take it forward they can. This is a very fairly uh, large uh, logistically a very fairly, fairly large class uh, to put on because we have uh, we have a lot of partners Creek Carrier being one of them uh, FMCSA comes out and teaches some of the classes uh, Great West Casualty, um, I think they're based out of Sioux City or South Sioux City, I don't remember which one, but they're the ones, the truck and trailer out there, they donated, uh, and the one out here, they don't, I shouldn't say donated, okay. they're letting us use them for a week. Um, let's see, who else, Bendix Brakes, uh, who helped us build that brake board there, wow. uh, but they come out and they taught yesterday, uh, the braking, all that kind of stuff.